it's very special to not just think of history of okay, this is when apartheid happened, this is when World War happened, but also in terms of your family and who you are, because then we don't lose our identity. And then we don't also allow the things that happened in the world to control everything that we are. Yes, apartheid was happening, but look at all the experiences my grandmother was going through. For us, family is not just a word, it's, it's a feeling, it's, it's love. When it comes to God and God's role in our life, my grandmother, has uh, been the one, she's the strongest one who's leading us. She has a very special godly gift of prayer, the strength of prayer. I'm not there everywhere they are, but uh, I know that uh, when I pray for them, I pray to my Lord and uh, he will answer and will guide them. They must have my Bible on the front of me. I have to read it every day. At least if we don't go to church, then we watch TV. So she doesn't have to go to church because church is at home all the time. She is the head of the family. I think before any big decision that we have, or we call her. Once Corona happened, it made you think more about people who are always there for you. Making sure like, hey, are you okay? Are you healthy? Are you sanitizing? Are you praying? Money and family is, is a little bit of a, uh, a difficult issue. She has always been the stronghold of my family. She will always welcome you and she will always share. So she has been the one also business minded. She had many companies. I asked one of my family something. No one, I cannot tell you <laughs> who can borrow me a 100 to We do believe in marriage. That is primarily the goal, because we are Christians. Same sex is, because of the Christian links, it's not something that we do in our culture. A lot of people who have children too young or they cannot afford them, they just pass their children on to the grandmother and then send them to the village and the grandparents, the elders will take care of them. Things like family planning was not uh, encouraged. So for them, condoms uh, says, oh, you want to sleep around with different people. For our culture, it's also about pride. So the more children you have, the more respect you have in your village. Our family is not like Orthodox Oshivambo because of our experience being in Sweden. So there's a lot of traditional practices that Oshivambo people do that we just don't do. Most of the time in our culture, you stay together with the elderly people in one house. So you take care of your, mo your mom. Otherwise, we have a village in the north and then the elderly people want to go live in a village instead of the city when they're getting older. We are very mobile, very free and yeah, even though we cannot always visit each other because we do have quite a few people in Germany and Finland and there were some others in South Africa at some points and yeah. Zambia at some point. So we have been moving around quite a lot. We speak Oshivambo, English, Swedish, German, Afrikaans and many more. We literally have a lot of mixed blood. So we are multicultural, multicolored family. Mm -hmm.